I would have been around five years old. My father took me to go and see 101 Dalmatians. It was my first time going to a movie theater. I would have been between three and four years old, and we sat and we watched Snow White, which of course is the first feature-length animated film. My first memory of seeing a film would probably be Tim Burton's Batman in 1989. So I was a little worried to see Edward Scissorhands when it came out, but I always remember that it had this very evocative poster that was up everywhere uh, Christmas of 1990. I remember counting down the days until it was going to come out, and when I finally saw it, it blew my mind. I got up and I moved around the theater to sit in different seats in the theater so that I could observe this thing from like different angles, right? Eventually, a few years later, I watched it for the first time on TV. It was such a different sort of alien experience for me that I just, it's burned in my mind. I remember the first time I saw City Lights was actually in a classroom. It's something that transcends any time period or genre. It's this universal film that I think is so beloved. You didn't get any cooler, for instance, than, oh, well, you know, like Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, Clint Eastwood, for instance. I wanted to be those guys. I wanted to walk like those guys. I even wanted to eat a sandwich the way that only Steve McQueen can eat a sandwich as he does in Bullet. He makes eating a sandwich look cool. Boogie Nights is my favorite movie of all time. I remember it pretty vividly because we were definitely too young to be watching a movie that was that graphic, and we were terrified that my friend's parents were gonna walk in on us uh, during a particularly graphic scene. And did you get caught? We did not get caught, no. We, uh, we made it through the whole thing. David Lynch was one that really struck me. I remember that I taped uh, The Elephant Man off of late night TV, and turning that on was just wild. Predator is definitely an, an unusual choice for me. When I think about Predator, I remember being a young girl and feeling like I wasn't allowed to like this film because it's a boy's film. I remember being like, that's me, that's who I am. Right away, right out of the gate, uh, this movie was I connected to it in a very extreme way. When you are moved by a film, when you're touched by a film, when you're excited by a film, even if you're angered by a film, the fact is, is that's a very personal and intimate connection. For me, one of the most powerful things film can do is really transport you to a different place. I try to keep myself uh, open uh, to the possibility that that absolute greatest film, my absolute favorite film, might always be the next one. For me, film needs to be thought about in terms of how it's experienced. It's the ultimate form of escapism. A film has the ability to kind of transport you anywhere you want to go. It remains a medium that, in the hands of someone sufficiently creative or innovative, anything can happen. And that's the most exciting thing for me about movies, and that's what takes me back.